In this video, we're going to have a look at the window cleaner's razor. Now, instances where you would use this is in the removal of maybe ingrained bird's mess, paint or silicon cement and things like that. I would always highly recommend you get a scratch waiver form signed by your residential client or your commercial client before you use one of these. I would also advise you do not use the razor on any special kinds of windows that have a film or a tint to them or self-cleaning glass, anything like that, any delicate kinds of glass with any kind of coating, do not use razors on. But for regular glass such as this, use of a razor is perfectly fine. So now we're gonna look at how to actually use it. So what you'll need to do is soap up your window now we're gonna pretend on our demonstration window that we have some paint spots around the pane. We're going to pretend that the customer has painted their frames and has got some paint on their glass and they've asked you to remove it. So what we're gonna do is soap up the entire window like so. Now when using a razor, you must always use it on saturated or wet glass. Never use a razor on dry glass. That will vastly increase the chances of scratching the window, which we do not want. So the whole window has been saturated in our soapy cleaning solution and ready to use the razor. Now this one in particular is the Unger Ninja 6 inch razor. I personally prefer this one because it can be used in the hand at a straight angle like this, or you can actually use it on an extension pole once you get good with using it. By pushing this little silver button on the side, and you can move the blade forward. So that puts it at a really good angle for using on a pole. But I'd highly stress, do not do that if you're brand new. Get used to using it in the hand first before you use this on a pole. So the technique, you've got your blade ready in hand. Either put your thumb or finger on the actual groove there, that rubber part here, just to get a bit of pressure on the blade. And what you want to do is do your edges first, and fill in the middle. A little bit the same kind of principle when we did our abrasive pad. So we're gonna do the sides, and the motion you're gonna use is put it on the glass, push in, then lift off. Put it on the glass, push, and lift off. So you want to keep the angle of the blade should be around two to three inches away from the glass. You don't want the blade too much like that, because it won't work, and you'll probably scratch the glass and it won't work if the handle is too close to the glass either. So as a rule of thumb, somewhere between a gap of around two to three inches away from the glass to the end of the handle, and that will give you a roughly the best angle to use with the blade. So putting the blade on the glass like that, push, lift off on the glass, push, lift off. You never want to go back and forth always push in one direction with the blade, then lift off and then blade again. So do all of our edges. Same with the bottom, push down, lift off, push down, lift off, push down, lift off, all the way around. And if for any reason something doesn't come off where you've just been, resaturate the window and then blade it again. Never be tempted to blade the dry glass. Okay, so there we go, that's the edges done. So all we have to do is do this middle section. So what I would advise that you do is put your blade at the bottom of your cleaning solution that's left and just go up like this in stages. So working your way up the window like that, always push up, lift off, push up, lift off, push up, lift off, like that. And it'll become a fluid motion. So it's kind of push off, push off, push off like this. Okay, and then that is the window completed. If there's anything missed, you just take your applicator again. So say for instance, there was still a little bit of paint there, just re-wet re it, and then again using your blade, like so. 
That is how you use a window cleaning razor to remove things like ingrained bird's mess and paint. And always remember to put the cap back onto your razor for safety. Many accidents happen because people forget to put the cap back on. Or in this case, with this one, you get a holster as well, the Unger Ninja holster, where this will go into a safe holster on your traditional belt. But in any case, definitely have the cap on before you put it away to save yourself an injury. So that is how you use a window cleaning razor to remove debris and paint and things like that from a window.